Next thing we're going to talk about is how to expand logarithms. So again, we're still working with just the properties. These are skills that we're going to need to use later when we're actually trying to solve logarithmic or exponential equations. Uh, and we're just going to basically use the product rule, the quotient rule, and the power rule to be able to help us out. To expand logarithms basically means this. For everything we're taking the log of, we need to write a uh, logarithm for. And if we're taking the log of anything that has an exponent, we'll rewrite it as a coefficient. So if I'm looking at this, it says log base b of x squared square root of y. In my mind, there's actually three things we're taking the log of. So we're taking the log of y, we're taking the log of x, and then the coefficient. Now the coefficient of 1 and log base b of 1 is actually going to be 0. So we don't need to do that, but it's a good habit because you really need to break up the coefficients along with everything else. So try to get in that habit. So what we'll do is we'll say the log base b of x squared and the log base b of the square root of y. Now what I'm going to do is, like we talked about, is I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite that uh, square root as an exponent. Because again, we want to see the connection between logarithms and exponents, so uh, I'm not going to leave it as a radical, but rather write how we can write it as an exponent. Now both of these are in the numerator, so both of our logarithms will have a positive coefficient. So I've expanded them uh, using the product rule, but now what I need to do is use the power rule. So I'm going to take all the coefficients and write them as exponents. I mean, vice versa, all the exponents and write them as coefficients. So as you can see, I had two things I was taking a log of, so I end up with two logarithms, uh, each of which had an exponent, so I rewrote the exponents as coefficients. So the expanded form for that logarithm is 2 log base b of x plus 1 half log base b of y. Now if I could simplify either of the logarithms, I would, but neither of those will simplify. Look at the next one. I have the log base 6 of the cube root of x divided by 36y to the fourth. So what we're going to do is we're going to expand this logarithm. In my mind, there are four things. There's an x, a y, a 36, and a coefficient of 1. So again, get in the habit of it. So I have the log base 6 of x, and I'm going to put to the 1 3rd power. And then a log base 6 of 36. And then a log base 6 of y to the 4th. Now, the x was located in the numerator, so it's going to have a positive coefficient. However, the 36 and the y were both located in the denominator, so we're going to give both of them a negative coefficient. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my exponents and rewrite them as coefficients of the logarithm. So what this will give us is 1 third log base 6 of x. I can't simplify this at all, but if you look at the next one, log base 6 of 36, that can be simplified just like we did in the last section. So 6 to what power is 36? That answer is 2, so we'll have a negative 2. And then minus 4 log base 6 of y. So that's the expanded form for that logarithm. You can see we wrote a logarithm for everything uh, that we were taking the log of. And we rewrote all of the exponents as coefficients. And we simplified anything that we could in our logarithms.